like to talk about some of the major features of the rehab station. So first of all, you notice there's a table in the back. Um, it's a great place for documentation to occur. Um, also, a patient facing this direction can utilize it for patient uh, activities. Um, we've got a drawer here that is great for storing the accessories or any other things you need for therapy, therapeutic purposes. Um, uh, it's a self-closing drawer. Um, Another really unique feature of this device is the stabilizing system. So once you've brought it to a room or moved it in the gym to a the place you would like it, um, you're going to want to go ahead and lower the stabilizing bars so it'll stay in position. So the way you do that is pull this out, this uh, lever in the back here, extend the telescoping portion of the lever, and then you're just going to pull it all the way over to the side here and just pop it up till it locks in place and then that'll retract out of the way and now you're locked in place. The wheels themselves do not lock. This is how you're going to stabilize the system by pulling this lever. To release it, just go the opposite direction, extend the lever and pull the other side and make sure you lock that so that those are in the full upright position so that you can get through doorways easily. Um, another feature you're going to want to be aware of is there's a lever on the side of the unit here that is for raising and lowering the upper support piece um, by several inches. So if I move this locking gate out of the way, I can flip this up and lower that down about six inches. This is great for if you're trying to get through doorways or if you have trouble reaching the tops of these to hook the accessories to or harnesses to. Um, so then and to extend that again, you just pull down until it clicks past the locking gate. Um, we also have a storage area here for the table shelf attachment that slides into place just back here behind with some plastic guides. So if we come around and move the unit, oh, one other feature I want to point out here is it's also got a directional lock here for the front caster. So if you're going to be pushing this down a hallway or into a patient's room, that will lock the wheel out so it's in a one directional in the front so it's easier to maneuver from the back wheels. So we're going to turn this around and just point out a few features on the other side of the unit here. So one of the things I want to point out is that there is an actual step and I'm going to go ahead and lower the, lo the stabilizing bars here before I show you this lock this into position. So the step is folded up inside of the unit. Um, it is adjustable. You want to do that by pulling out the black knobs and adjusting in two inch increments anywhere from four to eight inches. So if you want to go up, we're going to, now we're in the six inch position here and I'm going to move the lock, the plastic lock out of the way and this step just drops down. It has a double hinge to it and lowers into place. And then just to uh, put it back up, it's just the same process in reverse. When you store this, you want to have these all the way in so it doesn't restrict movement of some of the other accessories and features of the unit. Um, on the side here, lower in position here, are what we call activity poles. Um, the activity poles can be used for a number of upper extremity activities both in a sitting and standing position which will be covered in future videos. But we're going to go ahead and store those down out of our way into a low position so we can talk about the support bars here that can be used by the patient for upper extremity support. These are adjustable in width so you can move those in and out. And then we can also adjust the height. The way you adjust the height on that is by simply grabbing the, uh, this ball here on the side and the other ball on the other side. This has got a pull lever here. This is uh, just a, basically a handle. Pull out and now you can lower and raise this to the appropriate height that you would like for your patient. The table attachment can be inserted onto the top of these support bars. There's a couple of metal protrusions here off the back of it that are going to be, you're going to insert into a U-shaped um, hook here that is uh, welded onto the uh, padded um, uh, support bars and just get those underneath there and drop it into place and that's going to hold it in place for you. And now we can raise and lower this to the appropriate height for the patient for either seated, seated or standing activities um, or even 
to act as a table or a, or a bench for the patient to sit on for different types of activities. I'm going to place this back in the unit. One thing I forgot to point out on the activity poles here, I also wanted to show you there is an adjustment knob so we can adjust the tension of these to an appropriate level for each individual patient by just turning that knob left or right to tighten or loosen the unit. We also have the upper support um, pieces here that have various attachment points which we'll cover and again in a future video of how to utilize those for clipping on accessories or the harness uh, that is used for safety support.